Hi everyone, this is Gennady from ABC Aquarium. Decided to make this video to tell you a little bit about a project we've been working on. As uh, some of you know, we're very passionate about natural aquariums and nature, and uh, especially about education. So we've been working on a project to bring uh, natural aquariums and a little bit of science and teamwork to various schools and work with kids to um, show them how things are done in the real world. And so the program entails uh, kind of a startup farm, uh, an indoor aquarium farm where kids are breeding various types of tropical fish and the water is filtered by uh, aquaponic beds and hydroponic systems, towers and uh, rack systems. And anyways, the kids are able to raise fish like a real small scale farm and raise uh, various vegetables, uh, salad greens, uh, cucumbers and radishes, and then package them and sell them. Uh, so they are uh, small entrepreneurs uh, in a classroom. Uh, this is a program that sort of um, came from uh, a little bit of my childhood, of what I did as a, as a kid, uh, and uh, with a modern twist, right? Uh, so it doesn't have to be uh, a farm in the backyard or uh, something like that, and it doesn't have to be a tiny aquarium with a, with a couple guppies in it. So today we have uh, beautiful technology and we have a great understanding of uh, indoor aquatic systems. And we have various new techniques uh, to grow food uh, as well as fish. So we decided to put it all together into this one hands-on uh, holistic program. And so far it's been quite successful in uh, one of the local schools. And we've been working on bringing it to more schools. So we have one really cool idea uh, that we're hoping to get some help with. Uh, it's basically a 400 gallon large tank with some grow beds where kids can grow vegetables. And we have a school, probably the best school to match this program. Uh, one of the local schools called RIA School, Rochester International Academy. This is a school for uh, refugee and immigrant children. Many of these children are coming from food and water shortage countries uh, in the Middle East, in Africa, uh, Southeast Asia, and so on. And we would be able to teach them techniques to grow food in a classroom, uh, in any room, actually, uh, and potentially to go back to some of the countries they're from via Skype, via you know internet, and teach some of the schools there, right? And so we had uh, some time to really uh, work on it and uh, and seek, as you know, seek funding. Uh, the, the big thing in in uh, uh, education in putting together programs like this is actually paying for the bill. Uh, just want to be clear and honest. Uh, and so we've been working on a grant uh, that was really, really promising and we were hoping to get it. And last minute, uh, it didn't work out. So the program is so cool that we decided to just go along with it, uh, regardless of the grant. And now that we're putting it together, it's a 400 gallon tank and a bunch of equipment. Uh, there's a computer controller uh, uh, that some of you might be uh, familiar with, Neptune Apex controller, uh, with all the fixings and, uh, uh, and so the, the equipment bill is starting to add up. And this is where some of our friends suggested that we reach out to the local community for help. Uh, and so this is kind of our experiment at uh, crowdfunding. And we are slowly working on putting together a campaign to seek help for funding this program, uh, or at least uh, putting it together and running it for the next year or so. 
Uh, as much as I would like to say that ABC is 100% behind it, and today uh, it seems that way, um, in, the, in, in, in all honesty, um, the bill is adding up. And so I thought I would reach out and see if we could get A, corporate sponsorship, and B, just local community crowdfunding. If this is a, something that uh, you would like to mo know more about, if you would like to get more information, if uh, we can reach out and give you some more specifics, or possibly bring you to a school or give you some information of another school where this program has been successful so far, um, we'd like to talk to you more about it. So this is my exper uh, experiment uh, to try to put something out and um, I would like your help. So let's do this. Let's get it done. Thank you. Bye-bye.